Hey everyone, today is March 3rd, 2019, and my Aquatop 24 gallon all in one is six months old. So, since I've had this tank, I've done a few upgrades on it. One is the AI Prime HD Lite, and the other is the addition of the Smart Micro Auto Top Off Unit. Here's a sensor in the sump. I still have the original skimmer as well as the return pump as well. The skimmer's been a little bit finicky, um, but it's it's okay for the price. About every week I do a five gallon water change on this tank. Um, I change the filter media monthly. I clean the block sponge on the side about every couple days, sometimes weekly if I'm feeling lazy. I use Evtasia X as needed, um, and uh, as far as feeding, I target feed Refroids weekly, and I also feed frozen brine shrimp and the occasional sink sinking pellet to the fish. All of my original cleanup crew is alive, except for one hermit crab. I lost one frag of Zoa, everything else is doing well. So I have a little mushroom garden here, a couple of recordia mushrooms. Uh, my zoas are multiplying. Uh, these are Rasta zoas. Tangerine Dream zoas. This is a green hairy mushroom. I had it mounted on my aquascape, but I accidentally knocked it off during a water change. Um, in the back are Leonardo uh, zoanthids. They're closed up right now. I'm not sure the name of these zoas. And then there's these guys here. These are one of my original corals that I put in the tank. The blue vice pallies are mounted there. And then there is the watchman goby, yellow watchman goby. And the pistol shrimp, candy cane pistol shrimp is in that little den there that he dug. In the back of the tank there is another green hairy mushroom. This is a rack flower. The frozen volcano rock flower anemone, my two clownfish, one of my snails. So over here I have two Duncans. One is green, the other one is green with purple tips. M one of my clownfish has been really harassing this particular Duncan here, so temporarily I put this soda bottle around it until I figure out what I'm going to do. So a couple options are either get rid of the Duncans or get rid of the clowns or put a bubble tip anemone in there. I'm not sure which direction I want to go. I mean I very likely won't get rid of my clowns. I really like my clowns. But you know I don't I don't want this Duncan to die because the clowns harassing it so I gotta do something soon. On the back of my tank, you can see I have a few splotches of <clears throat> coralline algae. So I've heard that that is a sign of a, an established tank. I don't have any plans to upgrade to a larger tank. I'm satisfied with this one small nano tank. So far I've really enjoyed the hobby, I like the aesthetics of it, I like taking care of the tank, nurturing it and seeing it flourish. I like that there's a lot of problem solving involved in this hobby. Um, you're always learning something new, there's lots of information out there um, to go through. I like shopping for new coral, basically more window shopping than anything because I do have self restraint. It's you know, as everyone knows, one of the keys to this hobby is taking things slow, which I have been. As, as you can see, I don't have a ton of coral in here. But I imagine in, in six months it'll be much different. Well guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Good night.